CHS students and families. I hope everyone is doing well during these difficult times. The purpose of this video is to provide updates on the Charlottesville City School System and also Charlottesville High School. Right now our first priority is making sure that all of our families in the Charlottesville City have access to our food and nutrition program. Later in this video you will see the drop-off locations and bus routes Charlottesville City Schools has posted in order to make sure that our families have access to breakfast and lunch. Please make sure that by any means necessary, social media, word of mouth, that we're getting these dates and locations out to all of our families. The more families know, the more families we can serve. The second purpose of this video is to provide an update on our learning plan. We plan to have learning activities available to our students by their classes by the start of next week. Later in this video, we will have more details, and as our plan comes together, I will share out more information. But right now, Black Knights, it's important that we take care of ourselves and each other during these difficult times and know that Charlottesville High School staff, counselors, teachers, and principals and assistant principals, we miss you and uh, we wish we all weren't going through uh, what we're going through. But know that we are here and uh, we will be available for you um, in the weeks to come. So again, um, keep taking care of each other and um, go Black Knights. These are the CHS family updates for the week of March 16th. Food pickup sites will be available Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Sites include Friendship Court, Greenstone on 5th, Hearthwood Apartments, Jackson Via, and West Haven. In addition, we will be running bus drop-offs. We have five routes serving the downtown area, Burley Moran, Burley Moran and Clark area, Jackson Via area, Johnson area, and Venable area. Please do your part to share this on social media and by word of mouth to our larger community. The more families know, the more families we can help serve. This is gonna be a stressful time for both students and families. Please take a look at these helpful tips from the CDC to help curve some of the stress and the effects that stress will have on both our families and our students. Families, it's important to know that worry can be contagious. Our students look to adults in their life for cues about worrying, fear, and stress. Adults need to take care of themselves before they can take care of those around them. Here are some strategies that adults can use to support themselves over the next few weeks. And here are some things that we can do to support our young students in the city of Charlottesville during this time. More information can be found on the cdc.gov website. CHS is working on our continued learning plan this week. Teachers are working over the next few days to create content virtually that will be shared over Canvas. Our first day for these materials to be available is scheduled for Monday the 23rd. Starting on the 23rd, students will have access to learning opportunities and activities for their specific classes. Students will also be able to make up work previously assigned these past few weeks before school was closed. Counselors will also be available to meet with students virtually and help with college planning. Please be on the lookout for more detailed information later this week. The purpose of this continued learning plan is to give students the ability to stay connected to school and feel that they are still part of something larger in these isolated times. It will also allow students the opportunity to engage in learning specific to their classes. Above all, we want students to know that we are all still here for them and we will continue to be a resource for them over the next few weeks. As we move forward, please stay tuned for more information. Thank you.